Hi, I'm Ashujit Kaur Anand. I'm the clinical director at PCMH Restore Health at Sheshadripuram, Bangalore. I'm also the director and co-founder of Aviksha, which is a home-based primary care program at PCMH Restore Health. My expertise is in palliative care and geriatric care. We provide home-based services for those who are in need of it. So coronavirus is a zoonotic virus. That means it's usually found in animals and not in humans. It gets transmitted to humans through contact with animals. And uh, the first coronavirus which appeared was the SARS in 2003, which was first time identified in China. That is uh, the virus which caused severe acute respiratory distress syndrome. And uh, then it was MERS, which is Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, which was identified for the first time in the year 2012 at Saudi Arabia. And the one which was found in Saudi Arabia was transmitted from a camel to the humans. And the one in China in 2003, the SARS, was from the civet cat to the humans. The coronavirus in 2019, which was identified for the first time in China in Wuhan city of China, was uh, identified in December 2019. And still, it hasn't been identified as to which is the animal which has transmitted this virus to the humans. The, um, study is still on to find out as to what caused this infection and um, since all these coronaviruses they are called as corona because the virus has a in the center there is a genetic material which is surrounded by an envelope and this envelope has some protein spikes these spikes appear like a crown for the uh, virus and corona means crown in Latin and that's how the name came the coronavirus and uh, because it is not usually found in humans it is transmitted through contact with people who are regularly dealing with live animal in the markets or it could be that they breed cattle or they have cattle shed these are the sources of infection from animals to humans or even when people intake animal products which are not properly cooked that can cause the coronavirus infection in humans so that's how the transmission takes place any further questions if you have doubts do ask your family physician about it